sometime people try to make build up their lives with the world they think they can build up in the secret of their heart they though they knew the lord still they run after this world and the world runs after them and destroys the light and fills them with the dark and filth and they die with that many don't understand if we don't keep the lord in the secret of our heart the next moment the world will replace it with its own the problem is not that darkness is powerful the problem of the destruction of man is not that the darkness is powerful because man is not after the light man is not after to hold on to the light that's why in the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 6 and 7 the prophet cries the whole world is lying in the filth and all of our works are rags they are dirt our thinking is dirt and then he says lord why there is no one stirring up himself stirring means you have that now coffee in this coffee you put two spoons of sugar does the sugar immediately get inside so you take the spoon and stirring it that this sugar enters into the whole of water that's what why there is no one stirring up himself to hold on to god why no one is stirring up one soul to hunger for god the prophet cries yes five all of us have become like unclean men all our good deeds are like polluted rags we have all withered like leaves and our guilt carries us away there is none isaiah 64 words 5 and 6 i am reading there is none who calls upon your name who rouses himself here another way of writing in some other language why they are not stirring up themselves rousing is still stronger word you cannot keep it up with the anger rousing up yes there is no one rouses himself to cling to you lord verse seven yet the man is not clinging to the lord yet o lord you are our father we are the clay you are the potter we are all the works of your hands yes there is no one stirring up himself to hold on to the lord hungering for the lord god is created this beautiful world and this world is governed by the spirit of god and our hearts need to hunger for that god if you don't keep the lord constantly secretly you don't develop him if your heart is not stirred up rousing oneself to hold on to him the world will come with all its evil and it will capture you jesus said to peter 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 the enemy wants to capture you but be careful I have prayed for you and you should pray I have done my duty I am going to pray for you but to save yourself you have to pray you have to rouse yourself you have to check what is in the secret of your heart you have to find out what is ruling you what 
if you don't rise it up sometime unknowingly the darkness come we see the three wise men unknowingly they entered into the territory of herod and the and the cloud stopped the sun moon the dark cloud up that king when they entered into the territory of sin the star disappeared but then our god is our father he will never leave us he gave the gift of the word of god the same word which came in the book of genesis an instrument that is given to the holy spirit to create this world and when the word of god was given to them jesus will be born in bethlehem they met they said okay okay today only all these people have revealed to us and we are tired walking walking for so many days and our legs are swelling on you know you work for so many days one day you rest you don't feel like getting up they say in the paper no cow on monday this mnc people are going on friday evening they are running to their homes ha huh? but monday they have to go same thing the enemy the enemy will come and eat you up if you are not alert if you are not alert if you are not stir up yourself with the lord with his presence the enemy will come and capture you jesus said to peter my son you go to stir up yourself the enemy that's why he wrote later times hello my dear be alert first peter 5:8 your enemy is roaring like a lion not to tempt you not to de- destroy you simply swallow you fully once he swallows you all that is inside his stomach will become part of you all his dirt all his anger hatred everything will be part of you all his laziness all his disturbing spirit all his temptations will attack you if you don't stir up your spirit and keep the lord constantly in the secret of your heart and rejoice in him if you do your generation will be blessed by the lord as that of rahab rahab do she was a non jew she hungered for the god of israelites akan though he was an israelite he hungered for the things of this world do ragap was in jericho her heart was the god of jerusalem she her heart was longing to go to jerusalem to worship the lord do akan belong to jerusalem he has gone to jerusalem in the future the language of jerusalem i'm saying god belong to god the living god his heart was on the things of jericho what is you keep in the secret of your heart will decide your fate will decide your life what is in the secret of your heart peter when they captured jesus and took to the house of kaifas and they were questioning him and the soldiers 600 soldiers at the house of kaifas they made fun of him they pulled his beard pulling the beard is one of the most cruel thing 
the blood will ooze and they made fun of him they tied his eyes they hit on his head and peter is coming he followed the lord in a far distance when you move to god far you have to be very careful there are some people they say no i know now i love god but now not possible to pray so i am busy with many things no if you are not near him some other thing will take place 